guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add users uh, by using either individual user accounts as well as importing bulk users, adding uh, as well as configure some user settings. All right, so under admin. So under uh, admin, you go to people. Now I have this Excel file with all the user accounts that I want to add, uh, import. So let's go ahead and import that. Now I have already imported all these user accounts, but I'm going to just show you the procedure. So first thing we're going to do uh, in your Excel file, make sure that user accounts are configured with appropriate domain of your, uh, uh, you know, one of those email domain. And then I'm going to import select that particular file so i gotta go to let me go to the location so i'm going to import this particular file All right, and you should be able to, you'll, you'll have the start button, and if the file format, everything is correct, you should be able to start the import, and all the user accounts will be then imported. So that's the procedure for importing. The next step is, of course, if you wanna add an individual user, so let's say you go to admin, and I want to use a user called admin pod one, and user account will be admin VBC pod one. So this is how you add individual account. You can also send this link to someone. So let's say I want to send it to someone. Uh, well, obviously this is the allowed. Uh, I'm going to send it to someone at the gmail.com. Okay. So let's go to send this email. And let's pretend that that person individual received that email. I will go to that email link. It's going to ask you to join our team. Let's say bbcpod at gmail.com. That would be my user account. And email has been sent to vbcpod at gmail.com. And then you have to follow the instructions. So let's go ahead and log into gmail.com. No, not this one. I will log in from my main window. So you can see he received the email, join Genesis Cloud. Let's go ahead and activate. And then I can put my details, BBC, uh, pod, Gmail. And then of course you need a password, so I'm gonna assign a password myself. Okay, so you're in, I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna go back to my original window. Hopefully I haven't logged out yet. All right, let's go to find people and see if that individual has been added here or not. So I'm gonna search by the email. And as you can see, this person has been added to my, uh, as an individual person. Now, again, guys, this is not an agent. These are just simply normal user account in your, it's like an active directory, okay? So these are like all the user accounts who can be, by default, they will have a communicate license. That means they will be, uh, you can always uh, change the license for this individual. So let's say you go to division and uh, you can, can we update that? So licenses are automatically assigned when the, because of the individual role. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have to change the role. As you can see, the role of this individual is called employee. If I want this individual to be uh, more than an employee, first thing I gotta do is go to the view and I change from assigned to all. And as soon as I change this individual to, a, let's say an admin or something else, so let's make this individual an admin and suddenly 
this person will become an administrator. Now, as I said, they are by default an employee. So if I want to give them a communicate admin, they will have a license, maybe communicate. Uh, I can apply them as a group admin and many other options. So let's uh, try some telephony. Oh, let's yeah, telephony admin. So this user will have some additional admin as the telephony user. So let's go ahead and save and continue. So you can see the license will be assigned Cloud X CX3. Now you have to make sure that you are authorized to use that license because some account you may not have the CX3 cloud license. All right, so that is our users. All right, so that's the that's, that's all there is for this particular lab. You have seen how to add a user individually by importing a bulk as well as sending an invite message. All right, until then, we see you in the next video.